This video will show how to determine whether a hypothesis test is a left-tailed test, right-tailed test, or two-tailed test. And we can determine this by analyzing the alternative hypothesis. If the alternative hypothesis contains the less than inequality, the test is a left-tailed test. Notice here we have mu is less than 4.5. And this should make sense because if mu is less than 4.5, it would be to the left of mu equals 4.5. If the alternative hypothesis contains a greater than inequality, the test is a right-tailed test. Notice here we have mu is greater than 4.5. Again, this should make sense because if mu is greater than 4.5, it is to the right of mu equals 4.5. And then finally, if the alternative hypothesis contains the not equal to symbol, then the test is a two-tailed test. Here we have mu doesn't equal 4.5. So if mu doesn't equal 4.5, it could be to the left or right of mu equals 4.5, making it a two-tailed test. Let's take a look at three examples. We're asked to determine whether each hypothesis test is a left-tailed test, right-tailed test, or two-tailed test. In number one, the alternative hypothesis indicated by H sub one is P less than 0.1 and therefore this is a left-tailed test. If P is less than 0.1, it would be to the left of P equals 0.1. For the second example, the alternative hypothesis is P doesn't equal 0.66, which means we have a two-tailed test. If P doesn't equal 0.66, it could be to the left or right of P equals 0.66. And then finally for our third example, the alternative hypothesis is P is greater than 0.6, and therefore we have a right-tailed test. If P is greater than 0.6, it would be to the right of P less than or equal to 0.6. I hope you found this helpful.